Hey up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because you'll be coming along to Cosmo with me and Jordan and my mum and dad because they took us out for my birthday. So it was my birthday on 24th of January. So they kindly took us out for a meal to Cosmo. And it was a really nice day as well, so that were even better for us all. Next you'll be seeing a makeup tutorial, what I will be wearing um, the day after this vlog. Um, I filmed this vlog on the Friday and then on the Saturday I'll be going out to the gin up with Mandy and Avril for Mandy's birthday. So I'll film the makeup look for that. So please keep watching and mum and dad if you're watching this video thanks again for taking me and Jordan out, it was lovely. Primer I'm going to be using today is the Prime Magic by W7 and I'm just going to be applying this in my T-zone, all the normal areas just to help mattify and prepare my face for the rest of the makeup. The next step is the Liquid Highlighter by Maybelline. I absolutely love this product but I want to find one uh, by a more affordable brand like W7 or something. The next step is the foundation and I'm using the Genius for the Light foundation by W7 and this is in the colour Sand Beige. I'm just applying this straight onto my face and then I'll be buffing it in with the White Van Der Stippling brush. This foundation gives a really nice effect. The next step is the 2-in-1 Camouflage Concealer by Essence. And also I'll be doing a bit of contouring with the same foundation but in the shade Natural Tan. And I'll just be buffing it all in with the Beauty Blender that I bought from the Pound Shop by the brand Makeup Gallery. I have done a review on these sponges, if you want to see it I'll link it down below. So next I'm going to take a lipstick by W7, this is in the colour Suede and it's the perfect sort of natural dusky pink and I'm just applying it on my cheeks and buffing it in with the Beauty Blender. This is going to give it a nice natural look for the blush, not nothing too bright. Uh, next I'm going to get the Picture Ready Contouring Palette by Essence and I'm going to take the medium coloured shade. With a blending brush, I'm just going to go over the contouring that I did with the darker foundation just to set it all. And then the next step is to get the darker shade 
I'm just going to go under my lips and on my cheekbones just to define it a bit more. And then I'm going to take the Sheer Loose Powder by W7 and I'm going to set the rest of my face with that powder. This is the just a plain stippling brush. Next I'm going to go in with the transition shade on my eyelid and I'm going to use this medium brown colour. And the brush I'm using is just a plain blending brush off eBay. Next I'm going to go in with a darker brown colour and I'm going to apply this on my eyelids. Then I'm going to go back in with the liquid highlighter by Maybelline and I'm going to apply this on my eyelids. I've never tried doing this before but I thought I might as well try it. Then I'm going to go in with like this salmon pinky colour from the Pop Feel palette and I'm just going over the top of the highlighter and that's going to really make the colour pop. As you can see it's a lot brighter and then I'm just going to go over it with some golden pink shimmer from the same pop feel palette. Then I'm going to take just a fluffy brush and I'm going to blend all the powder in, make sure it's all buffed into my skin properly just to make sure there's no excess left on my skin. And then I'm going to take the liquid highlighter again and I'm just going to go under my eyebrows with a small pencil brush. I'm going to do my nose, my cupid's bow and my, cheek my cheekbones. As you can see I've filled my eyebrows in and I'll link a video down below for that if you're wanting to know how I do that. Next I'm going to use the Kajal pencil in the colour the Maritime by Essence and this is a gorgeous turquoise colour. And then I'm going to go in with like a flat pencil brush back into the same palette but I'm going to use the two turquoise colours. This is going to set the pencil, stop it from smudging and also it's going to make it pop even more. As you can see I've applied my eyelashes with the Duo Eyelash Glue and the eyelashes I've used today are the George eyelashes from Asda. Then I'm going to go in with the liquid eyeliner by W7 and I'm just going to go above my eyelashes. I'm not doing anything too dramatic with the liner. And then I'm going to go in with the Absolute Lashes by W7 Mascara and I'm going to just try and bond my natural lashes to the false ones just to make them look a bit better. So that's the eyes finished and now it's time to move on to the lips. And I'm going to be using the dark brown pencil by Ruby and I'm just going to line and fill in my lips and block the rest off and then I'm going to go back in with the suede lipstick by W7 just blend that all together and make it look more natural and I'm, this is my favorite lip combination at the minute so this is the end of the makeup look I hope you enjoyed it I've done a vlog of the rest of my day so if you're interested in seeing what I got up to then please keep watching and I'd appreciate it if you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.
close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us, and love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah, no, I don't. 